Hey, how's it going, YouTube friends? As you can hear, you went for a boy. Never is not doing so good. Uh, an elderly parent decided to put tobacco in an oven to dry it and started a fire. And as you can hear, smoke and that, plus I'm allergic to every dang thing, really, really messed me up. Uh, on top of that, the video I made yesterday for today got taken down by YouTube. I don't know what's going on. Apparently, I touched on subjects that I'm not supposed to speak about, and they pulled the video. So sorry if this is late for you or you're seeing this on a Thursday instead of a Wednesday. But yes, you are watching the only show with lemon scented limes, lest I forget, and the only show with a supernatural, super awesome, third eye, I mean, why ask why? Laugh! And before we get started this Wednesday, I'd like to thank you all for being my YouTube friends. Thank you for just being there for me. I know I say it every week and I get flack for it, but I truly do mean it. Aww. And I'm not shouting out anybody today. It's not even worth it. So, <laughs> so into the movie review we go. And today's movie is Angry Birds 2. It is from director Thorpe Van Oderman, who did uh, Flapjack. That's one with Captain Knuckles, where everybody's super ugly and weird, and I don't know what the heck was going on with that. Just never really super interested me. Uh, Peter Ackerman and Aral Paldal, along with Jonathan E. Stewart, did the writing. These are the people who brought you Cars 3. Ice Age, Ice Age, Dawn of the Dinosaurs, and several other things that I can't think of off the top of my head. I'm going to cover just the two female new new characters, Leslie Jones as Zeta and Rachel Bloom as Silver. Uh, I love Leslie Jones's voice. Mother-daughter relationship seemed like friends relationship in the beginning, and it was super weird that that happened thing. And I don't know what her daughter's name is and which character she is. I think it's Courtney, which is Aquafina. I'm not exactly sure. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. Uh, Rachel Bloom is silver. I like her voice acting. My biggest problem is with the character model of silver. When your eyes are huge, your character cannot be super expressive. And I feel like a lot of the you know, previous bird character models were just thrown out for something visually even more ridiculous. And... She doesn't look like she matches in this world. She looks more alien. And I mean, she's supposed to look similar to Chuck. And there's almost no family resemblance between her and Chuck. Josh Gad. And I, I just, I didn't get it. It didn't make sense. She didn't look similar at all. And I was hoping this was an absolutely character when I saw the trailers, but it's not. And that's as much of the cast I'm going to cover. I'm feeling a bit miserable, so uh, keep it short and sweet, and you've asked for that. Uh, let's just do the production companies, uh, Rivolo Entertainment, Sony Pictures Entertainment, our, our distributor here in the good old United States of America. God bless America. Land that I love was Columbia Pictures. Uh, our special effects company were Rocket Science 3D and Sony Pictures Image Works, which it's a Sony film. They're going to be involved in this. La 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 la, you know. Let's get down to what I thought about this movie. Um, there was a bunch of side stories that just weren't super funny or paid off, and I felt like they were filler in this movie. Um, you know, the young chicks 
in the trailer that have the snake hats and snake po- bandanas and vests and stuff. Uh, that s- is a side arc to whatever's going on in this movie. And it does pay off in the end, but it's like, oh, we got to rush this out because we got to get to this part. I don't know. It just felt like it was shoved in late and then they go, well, we didn't have a resolution to this. So let's, you know, get, let's rush the end of this hero's journey kind of thing. Um, Red's new, uh, what do you call it? Neuroses about being alone makes him kind of weird and strange and his character he seemed more confident in knowing who he was and what he was doing and now being loved in by all in the village has changed him i guess but it was kind of a turn off for his character also there was new piggy characters who were just added in that you know the previous pigs were dumb as snot and all of a sudden we have smart pigs I'm guessing something happened between the last movie that doesn't explain this and they don't really cover it in the story. Uh, I think I blame writing on this, you know, because Peter Ackman, I mean, they have great writing credits and this seems really, really lackluster. I want to see what CinemaSins thinks because if I think this thing is terrible, they're definitely going to find the awful in this. I mean, it is a 6.5 on IMDb. Angry Bird says it's a 73%. Yesterday it was a certified fresh. Now it's 73% with a 75% audience score. So it's a 50-50 now, so to speak. Um, I thought things were funny, but they weren't ha-ha funny. And some of the really gross things that just were just not a payoff to me. Uh, those of you who want to just have the inside box scores, and I know there's a bunch of you who just skip towards this part. Uh... I definitely see this as a TV watch. Uh, I don't have the previous movie on DVD, and this probably isn't going to make me want to buy that along with this one. So I say both the pass. This might be a red box rental if I'm bored and I'm going out two days in a row. I definitely see this as a theater pass along with Dora the Explorer movie, uh, Dora and the City of Gold. Do you really think I'm going to go see that? Uh, no. Nah. So with all that said, uh, if you like what you see in here, make sure you click that like button. Likes mean that this video is shared with other people on YouTube who don't know about me and could really help me along. So thank you for clicking that like button. Remember, all comments are 100% guaranteed response. I don't need to go through the spiel. You know what to do. You know what's going on. And you, you know I have to ask. I have an Amazon. I have a Patreon. It is not without your support that keeps this channel afloat. And keeps me in the editing game. Thank you for your donations so far. And thank you for supporting my American dream. And with all that said for a final time. If you want to see more of this nonsense. Make sure you click that subscribe button. And that little bell icon. Ding. Ring a ding ding. It's ever so important now more than ever. So you get updates that I've uploaded a new video. And I will see you all in the next movie review. Bye.